we're gonna be unboxing some Monster High. I've had almost all of these for a little while. Actually, some of them I had for quite a while. The fashion packs I've had for so long, I don't even remember where I originally bought them. I have this one for Frankie Stein, and I believe this one is supposed to be for Laguna Blue. I have this deluxe fashion pack for Gulia Yelps. And this one for Operetta. I have this reboot signature doll of Frankie Stein. I bought her quite a while ago at Tuesday morning. And I got this Dot Dead Gorgeous Operetta off of eBay. So let's take a closer look at the packaging real quick. The back of Operetta's packaging is all about detailing her day, getting ready for a dance. Mm. The tagline at the top says, Monster High, be yourself, be unique, be a monster. Meet the frighteningly fashionable teenage children of the world's most famous monsters. They've left their parents' outdated haunting habits behind as they figure out the horrors of high school. With their killer style and fiercely loyal friends, you'll see them and scream, drop dead gorgeous. The back of these two fashion packs are the same. They feature images of Operetta, Gulia Yelps, Frankie Stein, and Rebecca Steam. And actually, I have previously unboxed the Rebecca Steam outfit, and I'll link to that video below, just in case you're interested. I really wanna find that Frankie Stein outfit. It's really cute. Now, these two fashion packs, I think, are later releases because of these illustrations. On the back, you can see Claudine Wolf, Frankie Stein, and Draculaura and they appear to be in their reboot outfits. Like this Frankie Stein. This is a reboot Frankie Stein in her reboot outfit. On the back of the packaging, talks a little about Frankie Stein's character, and the tagline is, how do you boo? So let's get to the unboxing. So now we have everything out of the packaging, let's first take a closer look at the dolls. So here we have Dot Dead Gorgeous Operetta, and she came with a doll stand and a brush. And then she also came with this little card, an illustration of Operetta on one side, and then on the back it looks like an illustration of all the dolls released in this line. Her accessories include this piano handbag. I really like the detail. She also has this coffin shaped compact with a little brush that's shaped like a bone. And it does open and close. And then in her hand, she also has an eye coffin or an iPhone, I guess. And I believe it does open, but it's currently attached to her hand. So let me see if I can take it off so we can take a closer look. Okay, so here is a close-up of the eye coffin, and it's almost like, if anybody remembers what a sidekick was back in the day, it's, here is your phone screen, and then you slide it open to get to the keyboard. But it does have a little handle on the back so she can hold it. So taking a closer look at this doll, I really love the details. Obviously, she is really glammed up for an event. She's wearing a gauzy red bow in her hair with black polka dots and a little white monster high skull. I love her little bangs. So she's wearing one silver web earring and then she's wearing one of her masks with some web detail and a spider that forms the earring in her other ear. I love the necklace she's wearing. It's kind of like a string of pearls with little black music charms hanging from the pearls. Love that detail. Her dress, super pretty. It's two layers. We've got large kind of record album print, and then the bottom layer is polka dots. Little gauzy straps on her dress. Little spider web detail in the bodice, and then her little piano keys belt. She has her tattooing on her one arm and then etched into her skin, you can see. And then these are her shoes. 
spiders on the back and dice in the front. Just a lot of well thought out detail in her outfit overall. And of course she is fully articulated with movement at the neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. Then we have the Reboot Frankie Stein doll. This is like her signature reboot look. She did not come with a doll stand or a brush or any of that, but she does have this really big, bright yellow bag with some interesting molded on detail. Got her signature stitching throughout her body. She has kind of bolt inspired earrings. She's got the bolts in her neck. Her outfit is all one piece, even though it looks like multiple pieces. It's supposed to look like a little blouse with a blue kind of sweater vest and then this skirt, but it actually is all one piece. She does have this silver belt as a separate piece and then this kind of like black lightning bolt tie. Her hair, very soft, not too bad coming out of the packaging. And of course she has her reboot face. Oh, and these are her shoes. Simple black with some interesting mold detail and painted on yellow laces. Let's just do a brief comparison between original Frankie here and reboot Frankie. Looking at them side by side, obviously the biggest difference is the eyes. The reboot doll has much bigger, softer, rounder eyes. Honestly, beyond that, I can't see much of a difference in the face mold. There is a softening and rounding to her eyebrow and her scar has a slightly different placement on her face. And again, it's a lighter gray. Overall, softer, pinker tones in Reboot Frankie, darker tones in Original Frankie. Personally, I think I like the Original Frankie's outfit better. There's something about the belt, the tie, the plaid dress, and all the details, and I particularly love her shoes. These are my all-time favorite Monster High shoes. I just think they're awesome. But now let's take a look at the fashion packs. Let's start with the single fashion packs, and I have these on our Reboot Frankie Stein and the Reboot version of Laguna Blue. Laguna's fashion pack included this kind of bubbly pink necklace and this kind of coral colored handbag. She's got on this really cute belt. I actually really like the belt with the, is that a shark? I think that's a shark or a dolphin detail with some fish scale molded on plastic. I really like this belt. And then the dress is pretty simple, but really cute. I like the color. It's one piece of Velcro's in the back. And I really like this detail at the hemline. I'm not really sure about these shoes or how they fit into her theme. They're kind of like a wedge ballet shoe that laces up, maybe like an espadrille with this kind of bow detail in the back. So it's a little strange. We've got this pink detail in the shoe, a slightly different shade of pink in the necklace. Then we've got her kind of signature colors in her dress that match her belt, and then this coral color handbag. Also, here's an interesting detail with the handbag. It does open like that, so that's kind of cool. Then we have Frankie's fashion pack, which included these yellow sunglasses. This silver necklace, which I definitely have seen before. I feel like this necklace in white came with maybe Scara Screams or something. We've also seen this handbag before, except with much more painted detail. Here it's all yellow, which does match the ribbon belt detail of her dress. Very simple dress, um, but it is cute and it is her style. It does Velcro in the back. And then her shoes, I've also seen this before in another Frankie doll where it's the plain silver pumps with this kind of bolt detail for the heel. All in all, these fashion packs are cute, but I believe they are a later release, so they lack a lot of detail of the earlier fashion packs. So let's take a look at those next. So here I have two operettas modeling the operetta fashion packs. We've got our brand new Dot Dead Gorgeous, and a I believe she's a 
Boo York, Boo York operetta on the left. So here we have operetta modeling this gorgeous dress. Love the cut and the style. She's got a purple and black spiderweb print on a white kind of satiny fabric. She's got a red belt that looks like it's dice. It also came with a pair of these red earrings and this kind of red mask. The fashion pack also came with this second outfit, which is three pieces. It's this cute little cropped purple sweater with red details. It looks like it's got the red signature heart symbol that Operetta wears a lot with some red stitching detail. And then this off the shoulder top that's red with this print around the collar, a black skirt with some white stitching detail that Velcro's in the back. This really cool purse that looks like a little clutch with this piano strap. And this purse actually opens, which is really cool. I just wanna point out these are not Monster High earrings. This is a pair of pins that I bent into her ear because this doll did not come with your ears pierced. And finally, these are the shoes that came with the fashion pack. They are really cool. We've got some red spiderweb detail with dice heels. I really love this fashion pack. Love the detail, love the style, love how it looks on the doll. Really wish they continued with this detail throughout the line. And finally, we have the Gulia Yelps fashion pack. And this Gulia Yelps doll I just unboxed recently. She was part of a two pack with slow-mo. And then this is Dead Tire Gulia. And they are both modeling outfits from this fashion pack, which included these pink worm earrings, this cute little mini dress with this blue belt. I actually really love this belt. The print on the dress looks like tombstones. And then we have these shoes, these black and blue shoes. I really like the style, the open toed, but it's got some lace detail in the molded plastic. And then we have the more casual outfit, including these black rimmed glasses. Love the glasses. This outfit is actually three pieces. We have a short sleeve top with collar detail and a little bow tie. This separate vest with the red cherries. Then we've got the red and black cropped pants. And this red purse, which I guess is supposed to be like brain texture or eyeballs or something. I like this fashion pack a lot, but I do think I like the Operetta one better. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. If you wanna comment on this video, go to the link below to my website. And be sure to visit the link to my Instagram for future giveaways.